This is a beautiful Dale Inspiron 7352. A gigabyte of RAM and i7 5500U. This is a fifth generation of Intel. And this one however has one terabyte of hard drive in it and it's 13.3 inch I believe it's pretty solid and light today I want to show you how to make it into a MacBook Air 7.2 running El Capitan or uh, Mac OS Sierra so today let's try the Mac OS Sierra okay that's the latest one I downloaded from the uh, Mac App Store so your job is to find any of the Mac OS either you buy it from the internet or you download it whatever the case may be I don't have the link on any of these so you have to get it if you want to make this one into a MacBook Air this is the 8 gig we just created the Mac OS Sierra so when we do this we restart we hit F12 so after we hit F12 we see the USB 3.0 that's ours now we're gonna boot from Mac OS base system that is the only one we have Okay. So you saw that it was Colonel Panic. So since we got a Colonel Panic, what we're gonna do is gonna go to option. And we go to Graphic Injector. Now it doesn't like 1626. We will do it later. But for now, change this one to 16. Okay. And it should run. without the graphics so we don't really care all we care about is to be able to install without a kernel panic so what we want to do uh, to go to this utility and I want to go this is my external hard drive with tons of Mac OS's so I'm going to reinstall on this one and this one is 12.8 one so let's do erase and okay it's done now we close it 
continue continue agree so we want to go to Mac OS here customize on this is 12.2 gig hit continue so it will take 15 minutes So now you know that we can create a USB Sierra to boot and load without a Mac. Well, the only thing you need to get is Mac OS app and the kernel, and you can get it from my website. To install 10.11.6 is the same procedure. So, but this one actually, all of them you have to boot from 16 16 0, 0, 0, 6 instead of 162606 166006 uh, ID platform only works after you install so the installation is done we can boot straight into the volume that has the L116 I mean L Capitan installed but we have to use the IG platform ID 1616006 and if you look it would, the text will not load because of the frame buffer is not correct but after we put the DSDT and everything, we can use, see, IGPU graphic fail, driver fail to load. So we can use 1626-0006 after it's done.